Okay. Back at it again. Oh boy, now is not the time for sleep. Get your ass up. I wish I was sleeping, actually. <clears throat> if you recall, we just ended right off her. Our good old buddy O got murdered. She bled purple, though. That's kind of weird. I think we should investigate that. You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. It's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Hey, you okay, man? So it wasn't a dream? It was real? That's right, man. Really happened, dude. <sighs> Deep, dark despair worked its way through my body. Hey, where do you think you're going? Just see for myself. Just give up. I can check once, twice, a thousand times. She's fucking dead, idiot. Listen, man, what do you think's gonna happen if we go out there? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Oh my god. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious. He told us all to come here. Well, hold on, don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price I had to pay, but... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's not like he can kill us. I would never do that, if you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> hey, um... Unless someone violates the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school up here. I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. But... And who done it? Come on. I already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? <laughs> One of you decided to kill Saika so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... Wrong. Nah, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify that, to that little fact. Yeah. Uh, um, are you serious? What is this? <laughs> it's amazing what some people are capable of. Hold hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with this stuffed animal here. Hmm. Any of, if one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> 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 It's because you're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? You're super naive. No, 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 no. Whoops. Why are you skipping stuff? God damn it, game. Okay. I guess I skipped a bunch of text. No, I don't think it matters too much. Anyway, we just repeating things we already knew. Not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place with access, uh, place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So, a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the 
trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. So what exactly is this punishment? Ah, oh, well, just put it simply. It's execution. What? <clears throat> execution electric chair. Yeah, yeah, we get it. So to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed. Yep. It's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Also, I forgot TTS, so I'll rectify that in a second, but I don't know if I can switch things without the game skipping. Let's skip things again. Good shit. Hold on for a sec. For some reason, whenever I press control, it skips things. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Wait, hold on a second. It's freaking insane, you know that? Class child, what the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What? Come on, I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Say whatever you want, I'm not gonna be part of this. Don't be so selfish. Alright. Really wanna get out of here. They'll have to go through me first. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summit spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Okay. Why does it look pink in these games? And just like that, she never moved again. No way! To avoid harsh rating. I guess. I don't even know. This can't be real. No way. And I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of, prom of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson after all. <sighs> what an amazing promise. Now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Okay. Hey, um. Just die, that's all. She just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. This isn't some superhero comic yet, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? I changed my mind. No, you've been wanting to kill her this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. 
Or are you being metaphorical? Or are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? Anyway, none of that matters right now. There's something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blacken. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it the Monokuma file. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts in this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with the corpse. Instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So, you know who killed Sayaka? Of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, uh, could I? Correct. That's a good point. Well? well then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. Bio. Alright. Cool. Anyway, so that's why I didn't want to spend time with those two people because I already knew that they were going to die pretty much right after. I don't know anything about uh, the trial after this one, though, so after this it's going to be a uh, new thing for I me as well. I think you're the one who did it. Yes, definitely. Now is no time to wallow in your depression, idiot. First thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. In other words. Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about it and talk about the disease certainly isn't going to help anything. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. If that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible. What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die. She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice. What the heck? Just have to do it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, game. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Yes. Okay. What's up, lady? Before we start searching for Psycho's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area. After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. <laughs> Guy! Then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? Why the hell not? Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? I won't him for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. So then. Fine, and I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Yeah, whatever. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. Still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay. Anything else? We're going to find out who the killer is, because if we don't, we're all going to die here. That's pretty much it. Yep. Hate this. But still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Hmm. So I finally noticed. Huh? Notice what? Just looking through the Monokuma file we received. I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. I'm talking what about. What the heck? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Saika died? She died in Makoto's dorm. What? Well, she's right. Could it be? Oh, hold on a second. You got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded room with her, rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. Yay. 
to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Thank you. <laughs> Relax, nothing's been decided yet. Are you so we're really gonna try to find out who did it? Sure are. It's a detective game. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. Think stupid is maybe not the best word for that. What should I do? Someone got right in front of the ah! Okay. Dots. Consciousness has crashed. Okay. What's going on? Okay, everyone's confused. That's fine. Looking at body. Beep. He really is dead. Yep. What's your so then? We're done talking. We need to begin our investigation soon. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saika. We'll have to collect clues from the form, uh, to form a foundation and construct an argument to get so, strong. Well, I'll have to say more. Okay, bye. Yo. Mm. Hey, Whatever, son of a bitch, that this is re is here right now, and they're thinking they're destroying that evidence. Better not let me find him. But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a mood. How do we even do something like that? Anyway. We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Saika. So, um... Oh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. So, for sure. Uh, it's guilty yet. It's true. Uh, Why not? Not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and a oh, blackout. Yeah. Well, whatever. Guess I better get going. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Execute electric chair. <laughs> Thank you for that flashback from one minute ago. <clears throat> okay. Victim was Saika Maizuno. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. Why does it say estimated when he has video files of it? All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. No choice but to push forward if you want to find out what happened. He's just freaked out. What about you, lady? Um, Feel sorry for her, I have to stay with her. You mean what? Stay with the corpse? Alright, I guess if you wanna. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. What you got to say? You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. Killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. You son of a bitch. Ah, 30 bastard. Anyone who raises their hand to a one is scum. You're fucking dead. son of a bitch that did this. I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. Yo. You think I'm guilty too? Try not to make assumptions like that. Simply don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I'll follow your lead. Okay. This key in the ground has my name on it, so this must be our own key. Please, yes. How did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? After saying that, there is no way she would have gotten to lock it or open it for any other reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. Nah. Okay. How did the killer get in there? 
replica sword was used and plus it's been taken out of its sheath. I haven't actually looked at the blade itself till now. Shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. Some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. The handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. At the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. No, she did not, you idiot. There are gouges in the bed like someone attacked it. What happened here? Um, <laughs> stationary. You don't. You don't think someone wrote with it? Replica sword. Please. Some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. So when you use the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. What are the scratches on there? Used in self-defense, probably. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? No, it's just modern art. Wait. Yeah, yeah, soundproof, I do remember, thank you. So, the trash pan and... Trash can? Trash pan? Scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Yes, yes. Crash tan! Yes. Not you. Hey. Hmm. Alright, detective lady, what's up? What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? You're down on knees carefully, inspecting every inch. Did you lose a contact or something? Listen. Are you clean? Uh, are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? I see. Interesting. Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something Let's very find unusual. Let's traces have come. I'd, I'd really rather not. What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. Now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Someone had used it to... The room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came CSI in and stripped your room clean. Taught me there's always some. Was it Psycho or the killer? Well. That's the question, isn't it? Hold on for a sec. It's like a mosaic of the semen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> How could I not? Come on. <laughs> uh, what else do you want me to investigate again? Look at this still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. Yo, why? You ain't exactly in the mood why? to be building fucking furniture, right? You haven't used yours either, then? Why? Not just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Was that everything? Kind of doubt it, but. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. All right, in we go. All right, what do we got? Here's uh, written in blood where the numbers 11037. I don't understand why the game tries to do this. <laughs> and I like the only reason I know about this first case is because I watched another stream of it. And to me, it is immediately and completely apparent that this spells Leon because you just mirror it and then it says Leon and for some reason the dude who I watched the stream of just could not figure this out for Leon, ever huh? I, I don't know how someone could not see this and immediately see Leon and make the connection that the fucking baseball dude did it hey Gigi Uh, already clicked on that. Thank you. But... It's gotta be a ruse. It's not. Wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. Something sort of glittery there in the wrist, too. How does anyone with a knife in their chest have Tim Metto write a name on the wall anyways? Well, I don't know if it wasn't, you know. It depends on what got damaged. Like if you can sustain the pain and don't pass out from it, I'm sure you'd have time to write some stuff until you bleed out. Right there, her wrist is all swollen or something glittery. Some blood on her left index finger. Fongs of both their hands are totally spotless. Yeah. Anything else you can look at? Doesn't seem to like. Looks like you found it, right? Right? Bloody numbers, that's most likely Psycho's dying message. Never seen something written in blood before. Read it was her final message. Right. As if she wrote it to Maybe it was someone named Noel instead. <laughs> no. You often talk like an aspiring poet. But the numbers she wrote, what do you what did it mean? I have no idea what it could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. She wrote them in that location while she was sitting in the way we found her. It means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. Well, uh, Makoto. Yeah, yeah. It's not being a fucking idiot. This is essentially what she's saying. Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. You know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Oh, you mean how he gets what? stuck? It's stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked. But once you learn to trick it, it out, there's no yourself. problem. Bathroom door frame has been Correct. Though so the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. That's huh? Right. Doorknob? You didn't notice? Well, I'll just try closing the bathroom door. Hmm? Doorknob. We're now practically about to fall off. It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. My bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Yeah, yeah. Just a second. I have one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Did tell Psyche about it last night. 
What she's saying is only you and Sai can do about it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. She had the slightest bit of a smirk on her face. Yet the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. Now clears that up. Goodbye. I'll see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Huh? Well, this is Saika's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Saika's name on it. We were switched. So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay, we got the DVD. Yep. Alrighty. Zoom on over here. Zoom in over and over. The image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. She was there, along with the friends she said she had been, had been so important to her. Alright. The voice side came to come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Suddenly, their screen went dark. What? Psyche had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls, who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight for Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion-dollar question. What, oh what, could have caused the group to go to pieces? Without warning, the video cut off. I wasn't real right. All right. Okay. Game said I need to talk to programmer lady, so we're gonna do that. Yo. Hey. Huh? What's up? First United Psycho left a message. She wrote the numbers 11037. Or Leon, do you have any idea what these numbers mean? No. Uh, Sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. What else do I need to do still? Saw the video, investigated the crime scene fully. What else can we do? Anyone in here? Oh yeah, the trash. The trash room. Trash room. Let's go check it. Check a look.
How are you guys doing tonight, by the way? Sturdy gate here, no way to get past. It's the end of the line. Trash room, this is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. You get the skate no, open. No, you can't go any further. no entry beyond this point, only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. No, no, you can't go any further. No, no, you can't go any further. No, no, you can't. Thanks for that. Cleaning duty has been added, okay. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Just so happens Manakuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. That's someone cleaning duty. The school will be full flooded with trash in no time. Gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. Alright. I'm supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in a trash room? And only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going into all that trouble? I just leave the trash room open to all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want. So in Actually. Yes, yes, thank you. So that's it. I must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The three will disappear and things will become boring. Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than hey, that. Bastard. Hey, fatty. Why don't want? To, why do you want cleaning duty big anyway? Oh, um, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You, is it like I'm gonna dig through all the girls' trash, looking for you know, and poke around at it. No way to think about this. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh God! Please stop. Please stop. Hmm. All right. Here's an innocent as a claim, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Now you suddenly want to join my party? Okay, whatever, nothing yeah. there. Alright, thank you. Mm. Please don't ever talk to me again. You aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? Hmm. Whatever, man. Something underground in front of the incinerator. Looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. Burnt piece like a hunk, like a hunk of burning. Things. Anyway, this is like a piece of cloth. Yes, yes. As if the pink wasn't already enough indication. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. Looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. You know what this is? A safe you collect all seven, dragon will appear, blah blah. Right. Where did this belong? To? Yawn. Green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. The incinerator is way in the back and part of uh, the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. See the green and yellow buttons? Yes, indeed. Pretty simple setup. Press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, later you'll be doing the thing. Don't turn it on! Oh, 
I feel as if. Yeah, Must someone turned it on and didn't turn it back off again. The <clears throat> whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here lost, the incinerator was off and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there anything else to look at? Is this thing? Huge trash can. Doesn't think look like it's having any clues, okay? Alright, let's mosey on over back to the gym, I guess. Can I ask you something? Hey, snap out of it. What are you doing here? Hey, does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball. It's all smashed, what the hell? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. This is actually just made of gloss and not crystal. Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Getting his con, George Washington, Napoleon. That whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Uh, let's put that aside for now, so you can say without a doubt that this belongs to you. Um, yeah, that's mine for sure. Probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. Thanks. Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Everything I saved up from fortune time for two full years came out to be like a million. It's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. Alright. Sure. So, what else do we need to do? like a logbook of things we need to do. Uh. What's up, dude? Listen to me. You have a second ever come from so unusual the door to everyone's door has a nameplate. You hear me? Don't kill yourself, don't tell you anything, forget it. Or whatever. Uh, I wonder how much the guy selling the crystal ball bought it for. Um, I don't know. Check all the extras. Maybe Probably he thought it would let him take over the world too. Hold on, actually. Let me see here. Aliexpress, crystal ball. Uh, you can get one for like four bucks a piece. Let's see, how big is this thing? 30 millimeters is 430, and 50 millimeters is 680. Yeah, so you can get a pretty big one, probably that size. Like six bucks. Probably cheaper ones as well, but I can't be bothered to look right now. There you go. Are you messing in the dining hall? Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. It's all first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. <laughs> I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps, helps me keep calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. Tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night. You should buy killed. a crystal ball and learn to read the future. 
It'd yeah. make good stream content. I really doubt that. If I can't even make good stream content with the help of video games, I really don't think anything else would make for good material either. Very strange. So why was Saika in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? Saika and I switched rooms last night. Hm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Yeah. No, that makes no sense. Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. A possibility. Like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma Phallus that Saika was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be he's the rude. nameplate? Yeah, he's a dick. That's his persona. He's a dick dude. Ha ha ha. Hilarious. Do I need to do anything in here? This one is special. The swimsuit hanging to dry has nothing to do with it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the game wants me to do next. I've investigated all the rooms. I've been to the trash room. A swimsuit. Is there a pool in here somewhere? Yes, I believe so. Well, there's a bath thingy, but it's close right now. Yeah. I genuinely don't know what the game wants me to do right now. I guess talk to everyone again. Maybe. Okay, you don't have any new info. Do I really need to talk to fucking everyone? I need to talk to him again. The trash room, maybe. There's a clue in the dead girl's room. I already searched everything. You missed it because you're fucking late and you never respond to any of my messages. I'm sorry. You should be. Crazy lady. I think I might want to vomit. Need to kill. That's the point. I don't do blood. Besides, uh, okay. Then in here, we did the video thingy. Um, story is nothing. That's, I guess I need to talk to her, maybe. This is entering the Ace Attorney problem again, where you need to talk to everyone for no reason and figure out what the game wants from you. 
kind of clues. Let's just agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever secrets I may have, I don't intend to. Also, by dead finished. girl's room, I don't meant the room she died in, but her actual room. She already been in there, and there was nothing except the DVD I retrieved, because that's where we slept in, so. There's no real clues there. Any suggestions? Unless you're filming around fishing blindly for clues. I suppose it wouldn't hurt give you a little hint. Seen a crime, but I think the trash one's also worth looking into. I did that. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we talked to him, talked to both the programmer lady and dude. So I don't know what else we can do in here. Detective. <sighs> it's not that I don't enjoy figuring things out for myself, but when I already kind of really have most of the things pieced together, I this stuff gets on my tits like nothing else. Because now I'm no longer solving the case, but I'm just chasing after what the game wants me to do. Alrighty, let's click on things in here, I guess. There's a bed. Nothing here. Well, we got the trash can. Um, there's no stationery in here. Anything else I'm missing? Went get F E D. What did I miss? Me running around and complaining that I don't know what the game wants of me. Because as far as I can tell, I've investigated everything. Perhaps you missed something dumb in the trash room hidden in the very edge. No, I'm pretty sure I got everything there. Alright, the usual. Yep. Hey, you bastard! Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I mean, seriously? Now, does my room have anything to do with the investigation? Okay. How did he know, though? Like, he's around the corner there. No, I'm pretty sure I got everything in here. Yeah, let's see. Even the game stopped me. Fuck off. Wait, can I, like. He felt it. <sighs> I really don't know what to do. What do you want from me, game? I'm just about ready to head up a walkthrough just so I don't have to waste 300 hours just walking around doing absolutely nothing. It feels like I'm about to do that. Okay, yep. I'm not patient enough to do this. Do you have a map? Yes, I do. Hold on for a sec. I 
What was in her DVD, anyways? Uh, just her her uh, idol pals, and then them they being dead. So, what you would expect to be on there? Cool. kitchen is what we need to do. Okay. Uh, that's this way. I didn't even know that was an option. Because I forgot. Like a dingus. We go kitchen. There's a knife missing. All kinds of kitchen knives here, big small, but one of them is missing. There we go. Gotcha. There's not enough. <laughs> enough. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it was missing from the beginning? Right. Nope, last I remember they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, well I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. When I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. You're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yep. Okay. Um, hey, by the way, did you really kill Saika? What? Of course not. If you really think I murdered her. I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her? On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. There we go, we got everything. Hooray! Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the- Küchen Albträumen. Please go through the red door on the That's first not proper floor German. of the school. Kriechen Albträume. Without the N, not the E. See you soon. Yay. Here we go. Yo. Hold on for a sec. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions, save them for the class trial, there we can reveal the details. Alrighty. Stop telling me what to do. Kuchen and Alpen träumen. Please board the elevator in front of you. Which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fate will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down. Okay, get on with it. Wait, Go. not you. Get in there. Yes, indeed. Hey. Are you scared? No. No. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case. You don't, you'll never become the grips of the key. Oh. 
Ah, all right. Power of courage. What do you think? Does it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Okay, okay. Everyone find your side seats and sit down. Suspects for both murders, then. Trial. Death so turnabout. Your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, that shitter. Holy moly, not stupid. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship. Okay. Stop. But what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay. That about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. Yay! The bear is the killer. No, we already covered that. <clears throat> uh, sure, why not? Alright, here we go. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizona! Yeah, we know that part already. Oh, yeah. the murder took place in the room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise when she was Why is the, the audio so low? She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, it's wrong! Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room is. Uh, the way I can't open the menu right now, so I, I can't fix the volumes. The Sorry. Was a struggle. That's all idiot. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the toy, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like... I can up. just imagine how they talk. No need to hear. Alrighty, here we go. think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, 
We discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. <laughs> Fucking geniuses over here. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife. But where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. I guess you're right. Hold on a second. I'm Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. Do you really believe that? Ah, uh, right. I forgot the rest of that Discourse. stuff. Concentrate, though, yeah. Space bar. Yeah, yeah. Time to turn this case so away, ways. No question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Okay, wait, hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Nina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, he definitely wasn't Let there. it go and the move on. <laughs> Please, you're giving me PTSD. I wasn't there the entire time. <laughs> in other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? The fucking jittery portrait is the dumbest Speaking shit. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask... Looks so Jim, bad. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But... What if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops! Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer! Okay, so then... Who did take the knife? Hina. So, in, in other words, I'm just gonna After repeat all, what you just, just explained. Yes. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um... Well, just spit it out already. I stayed in Ina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the door. Everybody is everyone's accomplice. We have to yes, stay in our we're all in it together. <laughs> so, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! But... I'm a girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibilities... Didn't we already establish that in previous scenes? I mean... Actually, there is... Oh, whatever. Possibility. Right, Hina? 
Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because they're not here anymore. Sayaka, Gotta have jokes. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. She doesn't, like, okay, her voice is like a fucking eight-year-old. I don't know. Weirds me out. <sighs> a gun! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's literally what she just That's said. That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. Straight for the knives! As she left, she, said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely, and the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure. I'm sure she just took it for self defense. So you're nope. saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? He, he did do it after all. No, you're wrong. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Hmm. Okay. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare... Twitter discourse the, the game. <laughs> bewildering? Yes, what the hell thank are you. you. Talking about? <laughs> that is an amazing description of this. Something from the scene of the crime <laughs> that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Uh, sure, why not? Uh-huh, hangman and scambit. The important phrase. We'll have to just use the phrase from the letters lying around. Letters already know. Okay. Tune down the letters and write. Okay. I guess even in a detective game, I have to shoot. Shoot. It is not a video game without shoot. Wait, what? Shoot your bullets at true base. Oh, hair is what they want me to spell. Confusing, but all right, right, I got it. You're so the culprit removed. Stop missing. Yes. The thingy and jitters the like for you. It's kind of weird. Why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That doesn't make that any sense. sense. No. No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about Snake, the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The tail got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Makoto is the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah. Then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Yeah, yeah. No, wait, the doorknob. God damn it.
Why would it show the fucking doorknob? Or the door frame? You missed again. I got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up merely removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Sure, whatever. No weak spots, no matter how many weak spots. There's essentially only one lie in that debate. What I'm trying to say is not all weak spots this year are necessarily false. Okay. Good luck! that took place in the Kodo's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Whoops. Ah, I couldn't fucking aim. So we have to wait for it to repeat. Admit it. We already know the answer. Stop missing. Can I like fast forward this? She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. There we go. No, it's wrong. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes. Now that you mentioned... Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep. True as true can be. But you know... You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... <laughs> that's not lucky at all! So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah, because things were switched. I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable! And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is... A definite possibility. So the killer would have On the other hand, you could have you done it, you know, rooms? to cover up your tracks, but whatever. Makoto couldn't have done it. 
Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up! But... what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm. How did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then... maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about <laughs> this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, try. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess. Um, I guess they want me to say, I don't know which one is indicative of what I know, I must say switching rooms, I guess. Can't scroll down for some reason. I don't know why. I don't have a cursor either. Do I need to use, oh, I need to use WASD, okay. What's this? I got it. Okay. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Thank you. Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? Possibilities. There you go. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just as two in five minutes, come to see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, good job patting yourself on the back, that game. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room... I've totally seen five-year-olds do that. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single... So, Makoto... Anyway, that's why I wanted to investigate the notepad, this? because I knew she must have contacted someone somehow. Most likely part being the letter no, things. But of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. But, but why? Why would she write that? For the, the culprit to use such an advanced technique. <laughs> she must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate... Of course, I'm only... But can we be sure anyone even got this note? Can you imagine how embarrassed... Or, like, no, no, don't imagine. I really hope the dude, the voice actor for the fat dude, was, like, super embarrassed and having to read these lines. And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? <laughs> well, very well, then. Well, it's the person's job. But in the know, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically said, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if someone did read the note, 
and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. It certainly would seem that way. I wish I could just skip two things, but... Yes, because I didn't know if there was a more suitable answer later down the line. Or a more suitable thing to attack. So I have to wait again. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words... Wait, did I miss it again? God damn it. And did what it said. They would not have any connection to God damn it. Okay, I gotta remember it. It's on the fucking fourth to last one. Stop missing. Hey guys, do you think I have electricity? There we go. The nameplates on my and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got switched? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room... So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other. So switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right. Okay, then who did it? No, wait, that's not making any sense. Never mind. Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me Good job. even noticed Thank you. the name I'm plates. terrible. You can also infer as much from her note. <clears throat> she specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switch things. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was... Probably whoever she invited over... Came in and... Attacked her! We figured it out! We know who did it! But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? I don't really have much to say during this. It's just waiting for the dialogue to end, really. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. But how the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's the deal with swords? What's the deal with swords? I got it. All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist. And it should become pretty clear, right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! Like, what bothers me about this case is that there's a lot of really convenient setup happening ahead of the case like especially a sword why would anyone ever make a fucking sword like this and coated in gold dust that immediately sticks to everything else like that uh, 
And then the thing where your room is conveniently the only one that has a weird door frame so that you can explain that away. And it's just kind of an odd setup. A lot of circumstances that don't seem very uh, natural at all. The ultimate lucky student. I have to combine the right truth words with the right weak spots. Mm, press the Q key, okay. No read mouse, okay. Guess you can just chalk it to Monokuma trying to mess with everyone that way. It doesn't make sense. The items are way too specific to this case. Like, I don't see any other purpose than what they have in this case. So. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword based sneak attack. And that's what broke me my Zona's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden in her leg. But then the purple took that from her too. And they killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. Um... Exactly sure. When the fighting broke the sheath was damaged, so the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. No, that's wrong. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? Well, stop jumping ahead. Slow down. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get down? Kids still bludgeoning someone to death. If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, just hit them on the head. The sword is a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife. The one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Yeah, yeah. I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. But the culprit could have cleaned it up, so I don't know. If you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has <sighs> already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up 
and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed your hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? No. That To the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at nighttime. Oh, I thought you're no different. Hmm? I'm not so anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. Also, oh my god, we're already over time again. Jesus Christ, this game takes a long time. All right. I got it. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if... She'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. She took the knife from oh the my kitchen God. and invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nakoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch... What a twist! Was no one saw coming. ...was so that she could pin the crime on you. Is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? <laughs> what? What? That would also explain why she would switch the main place. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Nayagi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. She was the ultimate pop sensation, a totally forgettable kid, or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then you were saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. <laughs> she launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when the wrist got broken. And she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on. Hurry, her. shit. She died at the hands Holy of cow. She... Just hold on. That can't be true. Because, hey, hey, you guys have totally derailed the argument. You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, yeah. Who think did it? Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? No, it's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it?
Uh, I mean, this isn't proof, but whatever game, we'll just Her roll with it. Index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. Or someone she could have put right it on her and. Fight. So she touched her. Yeah. I think we can anyway. Wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? Hey, Chihiro, you're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not. Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning. Or she could numbers. have touched her wound, trying to stop the bleeding. Of course. Yeah. It's because they're well, not okay. Numbers. In that case, it will be more likely that she had blood all over her hands, not just her index finger. Oh, yeah. It looks like. Either way, it seems far more likely that someone could have just planted that there in order to implicate her writing as genuine. Said something worth a shit. <laughs> but even if that really is an N. Rotate the image. Oh my god. You just so whose name did she write? Solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message, it was it totally Junko. L E O N, L E O N, or more accurately, Leon. What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Th that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Yeah, yeah. I got it! You mean, the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? Has the killer stabbed Sayaka? They must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button. -up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that... Are you finally starting to understand? Yeah. <sighs> I got it! You look closely at how the shirt was disposed of. Yeah, the, the audio mixing is so bad, it's unbelievable. Oh, oh yeah. I think That's it had, like, the, the voice volume on max already. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was... the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> We still don't have any conclusive evidence, but whatever game. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? 
And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. No, it's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you use this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But how would you use it? Yeah, yeah. I got it! The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. So I threw that through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hikumi? Yeah, yeah. Hikumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Well, more important than that is the argument that if Ifumi were the one, he would have turned it back Why off again. Why not the clock? I would do that. <laughs> it's an entire shirt, my man. Not just a sleeve that was left over. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left... I would have just hidden the shirt in my room because you're not allowed to go, or at least you can't just waltz into anybody's just room. Just cut it up then. If the killer had been on cleaning... You know, just put it under the mattress or something like that. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least... 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right! There's no way! Difficult, absolute. Impossible? I don't think so. Hide it in the upper decker. <laughs> I got it! Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right? Leo! Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you can't be serious! I, I'm not the killer! These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then, Makoto. Go ahead and review the incident one more time, and with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. All right. Last element, I mean, there's a closing argument. You can complete summary of the case. Uh, reform a comic book. Oh, no. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Hurry up, you have only half an hour. <laughs> yeah. You're putting the panels backwards.
You! I think I'd better take one more look. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can sure tell, made a comment. Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Okay, I guess I got something wrong there. Um, maybe this one? Like, I don't know what this picture means. It, to me, it looks like she's dropping the knife, but that wouldn't make any sense. Um... Oh, wait, there's more thingies. No, wait, this one is... Okay, here we go. Uh, God damn it. Game, please. Let me push the thingies. Why can't I remove... Is this one right? I guess it is. So, this would be here, and this would be here. Okay. The killer is you! But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right hand. Um... Okay. Okay, then it's this one here. The killer is... you! During the struggle, a strike... There we go. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. So instead, the killer forced the door open and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remained to keep the killer from noticing. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. Why is the dude completely naked? They wanted That's to make weird. sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball. They still got a gray suit on. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate. And for any normal person, that is, and that's because the kill The crystal ball, thrown with which then quickly Good thing he was a whatever it's called, a thrower or whatever, and not a batter. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one part of the shirt killer didn't notice this. Don't the batters still need to throw when they what? switch sides? I thought. Batters it I don't know how fucking baseball works. I don't know shit about baseball. But I thought they were like separate hero people. Forgot his separate jobs. In the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball? 
You thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Oh boy, tutorials. Mission Headshot Battle, Bullet Time. Destroy your opponent's statements of time with the rhythm. Oh boy. Match your button presses with the tempo marker as they move across the screen, reach the center. So many mini games. Yeah. How can we refute Leon's oh. arguments? They are solid. I don't know how I'm selecting anything. Oh, I need to... Need to... Put the right clicks in in the thing as well. Okay. I was confused about that. <laughs> no. I'm terrible at rhythm games. Absolute trash. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove that. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. But you mean the boys got toolkits? Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Leon. Would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid! <laughs> so... You have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Wobble wobble. Yay. I guess. <laughs> Looks like you've reached nothing your personnel. Then are kid. We ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay. 
Okay, then let's get excited! Leva. Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? So, what's, what's interesting to me what's about this... Eh, I'll save it for later. Looks like you got it right on the money. Huh? Hey, hold on. You really? I don't believe it. I, I didn't have a choice. So that's why none of you are any different. Complete chance. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Hey, come on! Expect me to just accept my death? Well, I mean, you could have just left the room after you won the fight, and then told everyone else she was about to kill you. Instead of just getting her back, but whatever, man. <clears throat> all because of that video anyway so this thing would have been a lot more interesting to me if Leon had defended himself up until the very end like if he had always just denied it because then since this is all merely circumstantial evidence it would have opened up the possibility of uh, someone else, possibly Monokuma, arranging this whole charade and basically implicating or drawing all of us to implicate someone else as the murder who's actually innocent. But since he's admitting to it now, it's basically outside the window. So, yeah. Anyway. I... Anywho. You betray me. I'm fed up with this world. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, you used me! Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? Mean to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside she just sent it to pure I madness. have a feeling it's gonna be like that for all cases, though. What do you mean, that the killer admits it in the end? Yeah, probably. Phew. I understand, really do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Psycho's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. All your fault. That's enough. That Calm it's down. circumstantial evidence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll see. I mean, otherwise it will be too easy. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Either way, I thought for sure but you were gonna give me a good wallop. Probably right too. Just barely avoid a punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. And then since it's so magnificently real, the identity, the class realm will receive this punishment. Pun punish? You mean execution? Wait a second. Yeah. That's it. Oh, you should protect him myself. Is that okay? Hmm. Of course, you went into the bathroom, did you, or did you not use your very own toolkit? After you shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? Have any number of chances to stop what you were doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn for you, motherfucker. Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. 
After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Well, anyway. Kills, chills, kills. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Time for some ultra violence. Time for the old ultra violence. Well, this is dumb. <laughs> yeah, very dumb. <laughs> the fucking lyrics, oh my god. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. <sighs> I guess you could say he was drowned in balls. Extreme! Well? Hey, if you don't like it, just kill someone, yay! Or that. Damn you. Man, fuck you. What the heck? Say what? Well. Anyway. Oh, I can't hey, be bothered um... to read this out. Anyway. Kills, chills, kills. Hey. You see, everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I got to say. Need to save some of the fun for later. Bye. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever. Actually, no, it wasn't that long. <laughs> Just a second. Yo, wanna hang out for a sec? What's up, dude? Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. About Sayaka, isn't it? Dots. Surprised you figured it out. Listen. Told you before the class trial started. H R N G H. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. 
You wanted me to realize I saw could betray me by myself, didn't you? That never even crossed my mind. I felt like such a fool. It's true. I can meant to double cross you, not the fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. Oh my god. Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left how that message. How does she know? Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person that killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. It was uncertain. I'm sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why right, tell me this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past and heal and move on. Correct. Not someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. I need to carry them with me the rest of my life. Could I possibly move past something like that? Carry their memories with me wherever I go. Instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Psycho? Well, I'm psychic. What? What? Kidding. People being killed is no big deal to us, is what she wants to say. It's pretty edgy, man. Ray, less characters to deal with. Yeah. Hooray! There we go. We saved the world. Sure did, buddy. Well, anyway, that's stream for tonight. Thank you all for being here and stuff. And see you another time for other stuff. Bye.